Well, thank you very much, and we are coming to you from Kaptora, the eastern side of Uganda, one of the tourism destinations that are growing at a very fast pace, right from the Sipi Falls attraction. We now have sports, you know, attraction and many others. Coffee lately coming on board to see that uh, this place develops. It's a virgin area, an area that needs more development, more other brains, to see that it also becomes another destination, final in the country like any other. But of course, as this comes on board, there are many questions one would want to understand. What is the preparation on ground? How are the local people ready to receive, perceive the idea of tourism development in this area? To respond to more of these questions, I have the district tourism officer, Isaac Achemonges, to just make us understand. And uh, uh, Isaac, welcome to NTV. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. What do you make of you know, development in terms of tourism in this area? Okay. Uh, Kapchorwa, in the local dialect, simply means a home of a friend. So, NTV, you're almost welcome to Kapchorwa. Yeah. Just feel at home because you are in a home of a friend. Kapchorwa was known for its CP falls. In the past, we have seen more other, you know, attraction sites, attraction ventures coming here, especially sports tourism. Which a picture can you paint for us where we are now in Kapchora? Okay, as you've already said previously, Kapchora, when it comes to tourism, people use, usually used to know Kapchora because of CP Falls. But currently, we have diversified our tourism products. And now the component of sports tourism is in. So, in terms of sports tourism, if you're talking of sports tourism, just know that sports tourism comes in with an increased number of uh, visitors to destination Kapchora. Simply because most of the athletes whom you've been seeing winning medals for Uganda come from this land. So this land is a hot tourism spot. And uh, whenever the Ugandan flag is raised, when these guys win gold medals, say for example during the Olympics, each and everyone watching wants to know where these people come from. And uh, they have always followed these athletes to the grassroots. So as a result of them winning medals, we have gotten an influx of visitors coming to destination Kapchora, and this will keep on increasing with the time. Mm. Yes. But what are the preparations on ground? We see international visitors coming here, you know, to fill in, to interact with their communities here. Is the infrastructure there for these people to stay in? And are the local people accepting that there is development to do with? Okay, I will start with the second question. Uh, whether the locals are ready or are welcoming developments in the district. I just want to assure you that our locals here are very hospitable and are welcoming developments more so in as far as uh, tourism and sports is, uh, is concerned. Uh, an example is La Kamlochia. here. It's just a partnership between one of the locals and then a foreigner. Uh, and then uh, another example is the CP Falls Lodge Casa. The person running Casa is not from this place. He's from uh, Mbale. So the locals here are welcoming tourism as much as possible because they want to see that the district gets developed. Yeah. Well, still speaking about uh, sports tourism, we know that you are constructing a high-altitude training center, which we anticipate maybe in the next 10 years to come, we'll have more tens of thousands of, you know, um, tourists coming here, people coming to train. But do we have enough of infrastructure? Where we say Kapchora, for, renowned for its coffee, CP Falls, will host over 50,000 people to stay here for a week and spend dollars here. We need dollars, please. Yes. Now, in terms of uh, infrastructure, I can say that uh, our hospitality industry is not all that well prepared to receive a high number of visitors. Reason being, as you as you have seen from CP here, we have very few lodges. I think there are not more than 11. Then again, if you go to Kapchora Town, which is the dis district administrative unit, uh, the number of hotels there will not exit uh, 20. Then now, uh, you know that visitors come with class. So you may find that the infrastructure which is here may not meet uh, the class which is wanted by a certain category of uh, visitors. So now that calls for more investments in the hospitality industry to meet Are the visitor way demands. Are you trying to call upon more investors to come to Kapchora? Yeah, I'm calling for more investors to come to Kapchora, invest in the tourism industry so that we can be in position to accommodate the high number of visitors who will soon be visiting Kapchora as a result of the sports part of it. That's sports tourism. Yeah, but well... Um, how are the local people benefiting from all these tourism attractions? Are they benefiting? Yes, uh, I can assure you that the locals here are benefiting highly from the tourism 
industry. Uh, an example is if you look at most of the people who are tour guides within CP here, they are like over 100, and most of them are youth and they are employed in the, in the, in the hospital to what? industry. Let's take one example, this lodge. This lodge is now employing uh, waitresses, it's, it's employing tour guides, uh, it's employing askaris, and so many other people. So the hospitality industry in Kapshorwa is employing the highest number of uh, the locals than any other industry. Yeah, well, um, I, I forgot to mention that uh, Lakam Lodge and uh, 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 Enduro uh, coffee shop that hosted us, I mean hosted us this uh, time here, is trying to also see that the farmers who grow coffee in a Sebei region, let me say, benefit from this. But how do you look at coffee also being another way of tourism in the area? Already talking of coffee and agritourism, we have what's called the coffee experience, whereby we've already packaged it in such a way that our guides uh, have started booking clans who are interested in the agro-tourism part of it. And among the, among, in the agro-tourism part of it, people are interested in the coffee experience. And now in the coffee experience, whenever we get clans, they are taken through the whole process of raising the, nursery, the, the seedling from the nursery bed, then transferring it to the field, then how long it takes in the field, then the harvesting process. Then after the harvesting process, uh, we have border farmers where these, visitor, where these tourists visit. Uh, when they visit the homes of these model farmers, they are taken through the process of uh, making local coffee. In our local setting here, we, ca we have what's called the mortars. Uh, coffee is roasted, then it is pounded using the local mortar, then water is boiled, then now they get the pounded coffee, they put in a cup, then they add some hot water, then you start zipping your own what? Our own, own coffee. coffee, but how are such partnerships important if you now, do use that as your parting shot? Now with the arrival of uh, Enduro, it's going to take the coffee experience or the, yeah, the coffee experience to another level. Reason being, we are used to the local way of making coffee, but now these guys are coming with another class. They are spicing it more better than the way we've been doing it. So that means that uh, we are going to have a different taste of coffee from the way we've been doing it. Then secondly, another thing which we need to know that most of the coffee which we, we grow here is mainly exported in form of a raw material. For us, we don't process coffee here. So I know that with the arrival of Enduro, for them, they're going to start what? Processing, processing. the coffee. Yeah. They will even package it. They will put the, the name of Capshaw or CP somewhere in their coffee. Because they also want that marketing brand that the coffee is attached to Capshaw. Yeah. So it's attached to the champion. So it's attached to CP Falls. Well. Uh, so everything is going to change. Things will not remain. For time purposes, Isaac will yeah. leave it there. But uh, thank you very much uh, for making time to speak to us. Isaac. Chemonges is the tourism officer for Kapchora district just bringing us to speed. But in the African setting, someone who hosts you, you must take an appreciation. I want to go to Endro Coffee Shop and just say thank you very much. These guys have hosted us here and they tell us what have they brought in Kapchora this time. I speak to the uh, director, uh, managing director of Endro Coffee, uh, Agava uh, Roger, to just make us understand. Good morning and welcome to NTV. Yes, good morning. What have you brought to Kapchora? Yeah, we asked uh, us as a dealer about coffee experiences. So we brought a beautiful coffee experience to Capture. So previously, you know, when you think of whiskey, you think of Scotland. You think of coffee, want the world to think of Capture, want the world to think of Ugandan coffee. So, you know, why not have an Enduro coffee uh, at uh, the home of coffee? Roger, this place is known for, you know, uh, sports tourism. We have CP. This time, why coffee? Why did you choose Capture Cap uh, Cap among? you know, other parts of the country. Yeah, so Kapchora is a high altitude area, so it grows Arabica coffee, one of the best Arabica coffees in the world. So why we chose Kapchora is just to tap into that and also explore ways in which us as Enduro can offer our customers beautiful coffees, flavorful coffees, because currently we are in Bududa, so which is also part of, you know, which is not so far from here, also another high altitude area. So coming to Captura is just expanding our portfolio. Yeah, we, we, Captura has a bigger dream. They are looking at 50,000 people will be coming to the high altitude training center. Okay. But as Enduro, what bigger plan do you have? How many people are you looking at taking coffee in the area? Yeah, so for us, we believe coffee is for all Ugandans. So us starting at Lakam Lodge, which is a beautiful place, you know, homely. We believe by just starting here, we'll also explore other areas around Captura where we can actually get more people drinking coffee. Oh, as I sign out, you have 30 seconds to speak to the people of Kapchura and Uganda to come to Kapchura and have a coffee here. Yes, yeah, so please come to Kapchura. Very friendly, beautiful, you know, 
Lakam Lodge is about, you know, we have what a high altitude Lakam means cliff. So you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see the falls. So, you know, coffee with the view, thinking of coffee with the view, thinking of relaxation, please come to Lakam Lodge and come to Enduro Coffee. Well, thank you for talking to us, uh, Roger. Okay, thanks, Steve. Well, Roger is uh, the managing director of Enduro Coffee here that has just been introduced in Kapchora, an area that is so virgin when it comes to tourism and trying to make it better. Of course, like I earlier said, it's a place that is known for sports tourism, CP Falls among others, but also Enduro says, ah, you got something left behind, that's the coffee. But they've been hosting us this time as we interacted with the tourism officer from the district. And we now hand over back to the studio for the rest of the programming. Pick it away from me.